get Sally from Vintage Discoveries with some more vintage jewelry bag unbagging jewelry haul. And I also have a pile of rings that I've gotten from some bags and some um, things I picked up on eBay. So let's get started. Dump it out. And hope for no major tangles. Okay. Oh. It's got to open somehow. Oh, like that. This isn't bad, but it seems a little worn. Sometimes I hear something. KJL. So that's um, Kenneth J. Lane. Not bad. Sometimes with the reflex reflection, I can't tell if it's tarnished or if it's just the reflection. No, it is like some loss on there a little bit. Still nice. I can already see things are really tangled up here. Now we'll just go one thing at a time and hope for the best. It's always these flowers with the spiky things on them, right? Well, it's a pretty green flower. And it's got this unique egg on it with a bird. I'm not sure if this is a craft thing that somebody made up because it looks a little like it doesn't belong together, but you just never know with the vintage. Sometimes it's just odd, different, unique. All those words. Oh, man. Yeah, well, I'll have to work on that later. Yeah, it's just, it's very light. It's pretty. I like the egg and I, I like the flower. It just needs to um, get untangled. Oh, see so some bangles. Lots of skinny little bangles. Beans. R E something L E R. Not sure if this is a designer. Um, could be like a third grade designer, third grader, something. I'm not insulting the bean maker, but I don't think it's really something. Um, but you never know. You guys know that. It's something really special, probably to somebody. Is this, no, it goes the opposite way, okay. This I like. It's kind of woven, isn't that cute? Bows are so pretty. I don't know why this is the opposite of what I think it should be. Open this way, close this way. Interesting. Very pretty. I like it. Uh, St. John's Capistrano Church in Pennsylvania. Angel. With some plastic. What does that say on there? I think it might be Hallmark, right? HMK, Hallmark, maybe. A snowman. Oh. A little loose there. Kind of ceramic. Waving high. We had a Hallmark by us over here, but it closed. I enjoyed it. A little pricey, but a lot of cute stuff to look at. JJ. I think I have another one of these. Very pretty. Almost like, I'm going to say pewter. Pretty. Purple one of these. I had a whole bunch of these one at one point, but I sold those. But I think they're cute. I like them. 
Well, this is plastic. I thought it was glass, but it's nice. Even though it's plastic, it has a lot of cool colors. Does it have a clasp? Oh, look. It's barely holding on. It needs another clasp. Pretty beads, though. Look at these. These are big. Are they speckled with gold or losing their finish? I'm going to go with, they've got a little splash of gold on them. Oh, there was probably a little rhinestone in that. I'm surprised it doesn't have a name. Not bad, though. If you just put a little rhinestone in there. Couldn't be just worn, right? Nope, I think that's the way they're supposed to be. Oh, a shamrock, but it probably had stones in there. That's a craft item. A little necklace. It's a little modern. Whoa, what is that? It's like a spoon rest. Gee whiz. Oh. Avon. That's very, um, would you say that's mid-century modern? Kind of like a pear now, it reminds me of. Cool. That's in nice shape. That's pretty. Nice long chain, it's in good shape. Monet. I don't know the age of it, but it might be more modern Monet, still vintage. It's pretty, I like it. Nice. And I don't know what this is, but it's pink and purple. I'm guessing it's a necklace with lots of strands. Can't tell if it's broken or what. Maybe not. Just needs some untangling, I guess. I'm not used to saying colored um, like that. says sterling oh pretty oh is that cookie or is it green stones or is it yucky be pretty if it was green stones but it's just kind of yuck these have some pretty luster on them heavy probably glass when I clean them, I'll do the tooth test, but they're very pretty. Very nice. I enjoy the glass ones. They also have a nice glow to them. This is just some plastic. Oh, nice little chain. I have so many chains. I'm surprised it doesn't say Avon or something on there. Hmm. Good chain, good chain. These, I'm not crazy about these chains. There's a lot of wear. Doesn't feel like comfortable to wear. Kind of like those other ones. The snake chains or whatever they are. Oh, rip your little hairs out. Ooh -wee. That's neat. Is it missing anything? I can't tell sometimes. I don't even think these are stones. I think they're a little piece, just metal. It's not shiny. You know, this isn't like a high gloss metal. Oh my goodness. This is like a sweater thing. 
for a fur clip. I think that's I-N or L-N. But this is loose look. Mmm. Fooey. I love the embellishment on these things. So pretty. This is nice. Can these be fixed? Like tightened or something? Because it has no more, you know, no strength to the clip. But that's pretty. Ooh, look at that. It's copper, and I think they tried to make it green like that. I don't think it happened in the bag or anything, but very pretty leaf. We're not in the fall moon yet. Not in the fall mood yet. Oh, these are pretty. Does it say something on there? Let's get a close up. Mm. No, just little holes, little dents, but they're pretty. There's a watch. There we go, the watch. What do we got? Oh, Pierre Cardin. Oh, I remember when that was the big cologne for men. Pierre Cardin. It was pretty. In really good shape. Diamond quartz. Another watch, but this is really vintagey. Hellbros. Pretty. What's this? One of these that I get many, many, many of. And I get so excited when they have different colored stones in them, but I haven't found any lately. But this isn't bad. Some of the stones are a little cloudy, but it just looks vintage. That's what I say. Oh, here is, I'm assuming this is the thing for the, to put your glasses in, you know, around your neck, which I, will not resort to yet. Uh, ooh, here's another one. But this is definitely a pin. That's a little bit puddly. I think it's a Juliana. Possibly. It's got a lot of stones and they're in pretty nice shape. That's a big one. Impressive. I like it. I hope I have the other one of these. I love these glass like disco balls. These are old. And I love the twisty back earrings. Oh, I love these. <gasps> oh, man. One of his dangles is missing. Shoot. That's not cool. Well, I can take one of the danglies off of here. And they look like they need a cleaning. I love that chain. You see that chain? That's like my favorite. It's so cool. Yeah, I think these need to be washed, cleaned, whatever. And I could just take one off because I love them that much. They're very heavy. They're probably like lead glass, like lead crystal or something like that. I'm taking a shot in the dark. I don't know, but I love them. If I had a necklace like that, oh, I'd be so happy. This looks like an earring, right? That is broken. Yep. Little chandelier kind of guy. I don't know if I have the other one, but these could be Swarovski. There's, I think they're just by themselves. Maybe they wore earrings or something. Because I think I've seen earrings like this. These are pretty. They feel like glass. They're kind of heavy. 
Good for crafting, though. A heart. Oh, look. Pretty scroll work. Got a hefty pin. Don't see a name. No. But it's pretty. Very pretty. Here's another one. I guess um, this is all broken up. This is good for crafting too, I would think. This, I think we found another one in another bag. It's heavy hematite, hematite, however you want to say it. Pretty, I think I found another one of these. I think these are stone, little stone beads. I'm not sure what kind they are. I don't think it's carnelian. I think it's something else. I'm not 100% sure. And then we have these beads. I have no idea what these are made out of. They're kind of heavy, but they don't feel like glass and they don't feel like wood. I don't know. These are kind of, if it's one necklace or two. Oh. oh, I think they all go together. This seems like wood. These I am not sure about. Nice fall colors though, right? And this, I have some silver. Not 100% sure if these are real stones, but it says that it's um, 9 to 5. These are just extra things I picked up. Well, they could possibly be real, you know, semi precious gemstones. And, um, marcasite. Right? And this marcasite chain link sterling bracelet. It's very pretty. Flows nicely. I'm sure it's comfortable. Nicely done on the other side, too. Pretty. And now I picked this up from eBay. It's a uh, bake light. I tested it also. Um, it said it was part of a bracelet, but it doesn't seem like it would be a bracelet. You can see the residue where I tested it. But um, what makes me think it was a necklace was the holes are up here. So it would perhaps be like that. So me always um, thinking I'm going to fix something. Got it thinking, oh, I could make a cool necklace. So, like that. But I'm thinking something in between. If I could find some Bakelite beads of a different color, maybe black, and put it in between, maybe that would be kind of neat, because I think it needs something else. But it was a good price, I guess, because it's just some beads. So I figured I might as well pick it up and hope for the day that I can put something together. Now these, ooh, are some, some of the rings that I've found, um, these don't really interest me. You know, the glass rings. So I'm gonna put them in a craft lot because I, I just don't wear them. And they're really wide and not comfortable for me. Um, this, I thought it was pretty. Oh, and I asked my husband, I said, that, do you like that? Isn't it pretty? He said, looks like a dirty, dirty ring. He said, it's a smoky thing. It's, <sighs> I thought it was pretty, right? It kind of looks like... No, I can't remember the, the stone. Uh, 
green something. I don't know, but it's a pretty stone. I like it. And this one seems super old. I'm not much into the purple stones, but I just thought it looked really cool and vintage to me. What do you think? Reminds me of those like um, sweetheart, sweetheart bracelets. And if it did say anything on the inside, I don't see anything anymore. But it's very loved. This, I believe, is a men's ring. With maybe jade, like a low quality jade. What do you think about wearing men's rings? Do you think it's weird? Because I have this one too. And it's a big men's ring. And I thought, well, does it look weird? Does it look like I'm wearing an old men's ring? I just thought it was kind of cool. It's very comfy. It's like gold plated. Very smooth. I like it. You know, can't help it. And I think this is also a men's ring. And it's supposed to be, I think, a coin. Liberty coin or something like that, like a miniature. The only problem is somebody, I think, took a little nick out of it because they probably wanted to test it for gold. So I guess I'd have to go over it with a little gold um, pen. <clears throat> but I like the, the shape of it. Also a men's ring, I do believe. This also, my favorite tiger's eye. And this is all bent out of shape. It needs some some help too. But I like the signet. Is that what they call that shape? I like that shape. The ring. I can jazz it up with a little gold. It's hard for me to give up tiger's eye. I just like it too much. This might be like a symbol for some kind of astrology thing. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's a men's or a woman's, but I like it. I thought it was cool. I don't know what kind of animal that is, but <clears throat> I think it's cool. This one you might have seen too. I picked up, this is old. It's marked in here, just sterling. As I spin it around, yeah, sterling right there. And I believe that's like an orchid or some kind of flower. And, <clears throat> sorry. Um, what would you call that? Like a cigar band almost ring? Very comfy, very light. So that's cool. This is cute. I mean, I, it, it, you know I love the tiger's eye, but I think this is going to go in the craft lot. Another men's ring. What do you think? Would you wear it? Do you think it's weird? Because it's kind of big and chunky. Speaking of big and chunky, I have this one I found in a bag. And they it is marked 98. Um, it's a brand. Uh, they make like biker stuff. So, yeah, I should put that, should list that because uh, I'm not going to be wearing it now. This I found too in a bag. I don't know how you would wear this and unless you were just keeping your hands straight all the time because I, I can't bend my finger. So that's going to go in the craft lot over there. Oh, and this little imitation ringy that's gonna go in the craft lot this is one of my favorites it took me forever to figure out what this was i didn't realize it was two people embracing and i love it i think it's so cute and so vintage right 
this is pretty it's uh bent out of shape but it's pretty right it's just an old-fashioned ring old and fashioned this is another purple stone and i keep saying oh i'm not into purple stones but i just thought it was nice and vintage looking i can think it is vintage and it's just a very deep purple I don't know if I'll ever wear it, but I just was attracted to the look of it. Very pretty. This I got, I don't know why I was attracted to this. This is almost like the gold stone. You know how the gold stone is um, coppery looking with little sparkles in it. This is like a blue gold stone. I don't know exactly what they call it, midnight something so big and so heavy <laughs> i don't know what i was thinking but it looks like the night sky and it's very mesmerizing this i think is going bye bye because oh, i'm not gonna ever wear this it's a blue stone with um a moth or something on it it's yeah different right Ooh, i found the hope diamond remember no doesn't fit me darn it but it's pretty it's going in the craft this i wear once in a while when i you know just feel like throwing something on it's I think it's just gold plated, um, silver plated. I don't think I've ever looked inside. Yeah, electro plated, but it's pretty. This I like. It's a penny. 1964. It's so comfortable. I tried to polish it. I can't get that off of there, and I don't think I want to because I think it's better if you have it a little bit tarnished, right? Pretty cool. This is pretty. I don't see anything in here unless I didn't see it. And you know that is, look at my nails don't even fit on my finger. <laughs> and you know that I miss a lot. So try not to, but it's very pretty, super duper small. So I'm not sure if I, I guess I'll just throw it in a, a lot because I can't wear it. This is gold over silver. It's got the tulips and it's got that uh, cigar band that I love. And it's really nice and open and it's comfortable. I love it. This I found, I found a few of these, but this one's really pretty, but it's really tiny. It's like a size four. So if you're a size four and you want... <laughs> This kind of spoon ring is a little beat up, but I love the design on it. It's so pretty. This is going in the craft lot. I think it's made from some kind of machine piece or something. It's very, you know, um, industrial. This is super old, sterling. I think that's all it says. Uh, I'm gonna say something more. Um, I think that might say that's not nice. That what does that say? It's not a do. It's an M, and it's got a squiggly, weird thing in the front. Sterling, and to me, it right off the bat um, looks like tiger's eye. But when, when Tiger's Eye is old or kind of unpolished, it almost looks like petrified wood. But I think this is, it's a men's ring. I think it's Tiger's Eye. I'm going to go with that. It's just very old. This one, 
this ring I really love. Even though it's simple, it's not marked with anything, but it has this piece of um, mother of pearl in it. And I just, I like it. I'm big on shapes. I like the shape of that. Do you think that's a man's ring or a woman's ring? I don't know, but I love it. I can't explain myself. And this one, I love too. It's got like leather and it reminds me of like an oyster or something. And the bad thing is that I'll put it on in the morning saying, I'm going to wear that. And then it starts to bother me, you know, because I have the type and everything. And I was like, oh, but I like it. You know, I'm crazy like that. This one is cute. It's just something simple. If you want to throw on a ring and you don't want to get complicated about it. This, I don't think, is silver. It doesn't have anything on it from what I could see. It's just all kind of bumpy. Um, these are little chips of possibly uh, turquoise. But I don't think it's sterling. This is um, a damascene adjustable. It's very worn. And it's adjustable, but except for if you have big fingers. I don't find too many of the uh, damascene rings, so I had to hold on to that. Here's one of my favorites. This is sterling and carnelian. And it's got that cigar band or the that other one that I mentioned that I can't remember right now. Why do I keep smacking them? <laughs> I need a beverage. Um, all right. There I go again. <laughs> I gotta stop doing this late at night. And I even had some coffee. Uh, I'm trying to think of not, it's, um, signet, signet ring. Help me out. A signet ring. I love it. I don't know if it's a men's ring. I don't care. It's so cool, and it's got the coolest carnelian in there. It's almost translucent. Lucent. So pretty. Love it. And this I picked up from eBay. I think I paid something silly, like $2 or something. And I've found a lot of things in the past like this with these little stones even sometimes they're plastic i have found like a donkey um a couple different animals and i love lobster i just love everything lobster i love like lobster plates and lobster mugs and i just picked up a, mo a mo lobster a mug um the other day and I brought it home and I cleaned it and I was going to list it and then saw my husband drinking out of it. It's his new favorite mug. So there you go. It will not be listed. So I thought that was cute. I'm going to have to wear it on my little vacay. So cute. I don't believe that that's a real stone. Those are those kind they used to make with the swirlies in them. But I really like it. And I think that's it for tonight because I'm going to stop being able to speak. So, in, in order to spare you of that, I'm going to go. I got to get up early as usual. But thanks for watching, guys. And thanks for all your support as usual. Uh, it's really been great to watch uh, or to read all your comments and everybody who helps out with the names of things. And I really appreciate all your um, well wishes and compliments more than you'll ever know. So have a great night and I'll see you soon.